Yeah. Hey guys, uh, buildthewalltv.com. Uh, we just uh, been out and came to check on a known water drop. There's uh, cases of water here. There's beans. Everything within five miles of that Scout Mountain on either side comes right through here. They'll either go up the wash or they take this trail, but they all lead to the same spot. And then once they get over this little rise up here, there's another set of trails that ties into it. So then you end up with about 10 to 15 miles of trails, but there's another spot where they all squeeze together into one spot. So it's really easy to fucking do it. So this is a kind of a, uh, a funnel point. Yep. Okay. It's, uh, there's always funnel points and uh, they usually are in spots that, uh, you know, it's so fucking, takes so long to get back here and uh, uh, it's so far and that nobody ever comes back here. So they have no fear. You know, us walking up that wash, they could have hurt us and mm -hmm. long gone. Yeah. Did everybody go? Ugh. So, basically for the audience that's watching, watching basically, um, <clears throat> we parked the cars and then got on a, uh, off to the side of the road, a, uh, what looked to be a heavily traveled uh, human trail. And anyway, it led down into this ravine. And we've been following this ravine. Look at this right here. There's black water bottle right here. See that? This is what you see a lot of, and this is what they carry over their shoulders. That way the um, water doesn't, or the water jugs don't reflect in the sunlight. But this, uh, what you're looking basically east right now, well, northeast toward uh, uh, Tucson. And um, this right here is pretty heavily traveled human trail. When you get up into the trees, um, it's very well defined. And then you have a water drop back in here and uh, cans of beans gone. So on either side, two fence staked away. They cut the fuck out of the fence. <laughs> but it's like, even if they did have a fence on it, mm -hmm. ain't nobody out of here. If I mean, anybody got here, you'd be long gone anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's a trail coming yeah, down right here. That gives you an idea how heavily traveled this mm -hmm. area is. So, the next shift just started. Who knows where they are. So what they're talking about there with the shift is that the <clears throat> border patrol is deployed out of Tucson. They have two hours worth of drive round trip and an eight-hour shift, and then they have a shift change at eight... Two-hour two, drive one way. Two-hour drive one way. So they have a shift change at eight, two, and ten. Is that right? Eight, two, and ten? Six, two, and ten. Six, two, and ten is the shift change. So then uh, those that are traveling north illegally understand that, and then around before that two o'clock shift around 1 p.m. is when uh, this place is deserted of border officers. So two hours before and two hours after those shift changes, there's the place is largely, you know, unoccupied by border patrol. And that's about right now. So, uh, you know, we're a little bit noisy. If we were quiet, or we might be able to sneak up on some of the way that we're walking into these places. If uh, anybody were hiding out out here, they could hear us and take off pretty quick. But 
we'll do better. All right, so um, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>